Hey guys and gals, this is Hanagero on the 9.6 test server. I've got the STA2, the tier 8 Japanese premium medium tank with me, and I'll be comparing it to the regular STA1 as the STA2 does not get preferential matchmaking. It has 1420 hit points, so it's 30 less than the regular STA1. It weighs about the same at 34.45 tons with not as much engine horsepower, 500 here, and a top speed of 45 kilometers per hour, which means you're going about 35 to 38 kilometers per hour. Horsepower per ton ratio of 14.7, so it's not a very fast accelerating machine, and it doesn't move very fast either. Armor wise, it's not much. You do have a gun mantlet that will perhaps absorb some shots, but you're not going to be, don't count on bouncing too many shots. It's got uh, the same armor thickness as the regular SA-1, but the hull and the turret are slightly different. Obviously the turret is the unupgraded version of the SA-1, but the hull looks a little bit different. I think it's narrower? Yeah, it's a little bit narrower and a little bit taller. <clears throat> it also doesn't have these uh, little engine deck raised engine deck, I should say, which hinders the SCA-1 from uh, having any gun depression over the back of the tank, but it still has the same problem. It doesn't have a lot of gun depression over the back of the tank. Regular gun depression of negative 10 degrees, so that's actually pretty good. Same as the SCA-1, I believe, but the armor is not so good. We'll take a look at that in Tank Inspector, but uh, first we'll look at the cannon. 90mm cannon, so not too bad, 8.45 rounds per minute, 185mm of penetration, 240 average damage. So that's okay, you can deal with that on a medium tank, but it's not very fast, so you'll have to choose your targets carefully and look for opportunities. 0 0.37 accuracy with a 2.2 second aiming time. Accuracy not too great. Uh, the aim time is... Pretty good, on par with most medium tanks at this tier. So, <clears throat> it won't be too bad. 380 meter view range with a 720 meter signal range. Of course, the tur traverse speed, uh, sorry, the tur traverse and the hull traverse speeds are both at 44 degrees per second, so this thing does turn pretty well, very maneuverable, just not very fast. And I think that's where uh, I'm gonna have to not recommend this tank. It's not fast enough to do some of the things that you would like to do in an unarmored vehicle. Uh, oh, heat rounds. This thing fires heat rounds, 275 millimeters of penetration, average damage 240. So that's uh, pretty good. You will be firing some heat rounds when you're meeting the tier 10s. 185, pretty good. It does go through most side armors. But uh, when you're encountering perhaps a mouse, you might want to think about going somewhere else, loading some heat shells, something like that. So, armor inspector, here we go. The armor inspector, if we take a look carefully at the front of the hull, we can see that the upper front plate is 65 to about 75, and then it drops off, and there's practically no armor there. You'll overmatch this quite easily. But the surprising thing is the lower plate is more armored at this angle than the upper plate. So uh, if you are fighting one of those these things, you might want to think about just shooting it <laughs> in the upper plate because it's not as armored as the lower plate. And everything else, sorry, uh, the mantlet. That's what you're going to get around the mantlet. Near the top, you'll uh, get a lot more armor. But around the cannon, or sorry, to the side of the cannon, it's about 128, 130. Same thing on the other side. And the top, that's, there's, there's no armor there. Also, there's a hatch over here, so when they're coming over a hill with their negative 10 degrees gun depression, just shoot them in the turret. You'll probably damage something important. Uh, also, this little box here is not a target. There's, there's no hitbox here. You won't damage the tank at all if you fire into this this box right here. It's The armor starts uh, right here, the hitbox starts right after the box. So there you go, on to some games. Alright, so here we are on Swamp. I should uh, apologize if I'm a little bit late with this video. The test server just went up this morning and uh, 
I'm trying my best to get this out on time. So here we are, we've got uh, the not very speedy STA2. It is reaching 46 kilometers per hour right here, but it does take way too long, I think. It takes too long, and there's the gun depression, a little bit of gun depression to show you there. <clears throat> And now I'm climbing a hill, it slows down a lot as well. Not too fun. Okay. Here we go, the first shot. Aim time's not too bad. I'm gonna make sure that bulldog doesn't peek over. And uh, I'll try to get some snapshots in to see how the uh, accuracy changes have gone. But. These will all be close range, so I don't know if that'll be uh, any indication of how uh, the accuracy maps are going to go. <clears throat> I was just doing some auto auto targeting there, in case you were wondering. Oh, and I got hit by the GW Tiger! And one by the T-34-3, so that shot into the upper front plate isn't going to work, but he gets tracked with his gun in the air. Too bad for him. <clears throat> Rate of fire is pretty good. I like it. But as you can see on both teams, a lot of people are playing these new premium tanks, and it's pretty much just tier 8s only. So, um, can't really test it on the higher tier enemies. But don't you worry, I'll definitely try these on a live server and see how they perform. Now, let's see. I'm gonna head back towards our base because we don't have anybody left over there. Oh, I'm sorry. We do have a couple of tanks, two, uh, two Borsigs there. But not much else. So we're gonna have to put a little bit more over there and try to defend the base. <laughs> They're definitely doing well though. Um, might be using the HE on the 15 centimeter cannon on those Borsigs, which is how it uh, did all that damage. Or it could just be a really high roll on a regular AP round. Not much armor to stop it either. No, definitely uh, HE otherwise. Wouldn't be able to get 1500 damage, I think. <clears throat> and I slowly make my way over here. <laughs> Anything else gonna show up? An IS 6. Alright. Let's see what I can do to an IS-6. This is a pretty well-armored target. But I am aiming at what I assume is the weak point right now. We'll see how the accuracy goes. Uh, that did not go through. Hmm. That shot didn't go anywhere. Oh well. And um, I think the lack of speed is what's going to kill it for this tank. I don't like how slow it is at reaching uh, positions because I'm not always aware of where the good positions are so I'm going to have to move around a lot and hopefully I'll eventually end up in the right position so a faster tank would get me there a little bit faster. We'll get some... Uh... Oh, that was a little bit deep. But let's see if we can get some hill climbing in before that uh, last AMX CDC gets taken out. And there it is. Drops down to single. Oh, it gets ammo wrecked. All right, well, let's take a look at the stats. Here's the results screen. It was not a very good game, but we'll get an idea of how much credits it can earn with a not a very good game, 34,874 with a premium count, non-premium 20,000. It was only a thousand damage done in the game 
Uh, and I also took quite a lot of damage in return. Uh, what was that? A 622 experience game. So that's actually near the bottom of the list right there. Eight shots fired, seven hit, five penetrations. But if you can get more shots in, because this thing does get a pretty good rate of fire, I think it'll make a decent amount of money. Credits. And, uh, well, let's see how this thing works out and the live servers. Thanks for watching. Please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you in future videos.